Part 1. Finding a Resource in Trails What is Trails? Brought to you by the American Sociological Association, Trails is a subscription-based online digital library of sociological teaching resources. What can Trails be used for? Trails is the perfect place to find high-quality teaching materials and to publish your own. Whether you're preparing an entire syllabus or just looking for a fresh idea for an afternoon class, Trails has thousands of sociological teaching resources to inspire you. The fully online resource submission and review process creates a tremendous opportunity to demonstrate your scholarly teaching excellence for promotion and tenure. In this video, we will guide you through the process of finding a resource in Trails to apply in your classroom. Suppose you are looking for an activity for the first day of your race, class, and gender course. The first unit of your class will focus on gender, so you enter the search term gender in the dark blue search box on the TRAILS homepage and click the search button. TRAILS has 250 resources related to gender, which is great, but you don't have time to browse through them now, so you refine your search using the advanced search feature. Since you are looking for an activity for the first day of class related to gender, you tell TRAILS you want the exact phrase, first day, and you only want to see class activities. That's better, four first day of class resources. Let's take a look at this resource by James Villa McConnell, which incorporates an introduction to the sociological imagination with themes of race, class, and gender. It also happens to be the number one downloaded resource of 2012. When you open up the resource, you can see more detailed notes as well as the goals and assessments. And with another click, you can download the resource itself, flip through its pages, and see the instructions. This is the PDF of the slides that go with the Friendship Diversity resource. All Trails users agree to cite the resources they use in a clear and visible way. Here's a suggested citation for the Friendship Diversity activity. So you add the citation to your first day materials and you are on your way. Now that you have searched for the resource and downloaded the citation, you are now ready to apply it in your classroom. We hope that this experience compels you to submit your own teaching resource to Trails. So how much does Trails cost? Subscribing to Trails is very affordable. The cost of a subscription to Trails is $25 for ASA members and $100 for non-members. If you are not an ASA member, but your school is a member of the Department Affiliates program, you receive a 50% discount. Part 2. Submitting a resource to Trails Suppose you have developed a terrific assignment that helps students understand intersectionality and the complex relationship between race, class, and gender, and you want to submit it for review by the Trails editorial team. The process for submitting your new resource for publication in Trails begins by clicking on Submit and Publish and following the steps laid out by the Submission Wizard. The first thing Trails needs to know is whether the resource you are submitting is a new or adapted resource. Already published Trails resources can be adapted to fit different contexts and populations and still be submitted to Trails. Your resource is not an adapted resource, so you select New Resource. Under General Properties, you will enter the title for your resource, a thumbnail image, and an abstract. All these will be visible to anyone searching in Trails. For the Details and Goals page, you provide the resource type as well as the learning goals. Here is your opportunity to explain what students will learn from your resource and how professors can determine if they learned it or not. You may want to consider compiling all the necessary information in a Word document and then cutting and pasting into Trails to ensure the system doesn't time you out, in which case you must start the submission process over. The author agreement explains that you retain copyright but grants ASA a license to reproduce your resource as long as they use the suggested citation listing you as the author of the original resource. Next. Trails asks you to upload all your resource documents, such as a PowerPoint presentation, syllabi, or instructions. The Review tab allows you to double-check your information. When you are satisfied with your submission, press Submit. 
And with those few steps, your resource submission process is complete. Once you click Submit, you will see this confirmation window. At this point, the resource will now go through our review process. You should hear from Trails within a few weeks with the status of your resource. All trail submissions go through a two-stage peer review process, which means that having a resource accepted for publication in Trails provides important evidence of your teaching excellence. So whether you are looking for teaching inspiration and guidance or building your teaching portfolio, Trails can help. To learn more about Trails, go to trails.asanet.org.